Diesel presentation script for diesel operators, including cargo, diesel power generation, agriculture, mining, marine, and construction. Today, modern engine technology demands clean fuel and clean fuel systems for optimum performance and efficiency. In order to ensure that our clients are benefiting from clean fuel and are protected against poor fuel quality and contamination in diesel fuel, particularly with the introduction of biodiesel blends, Worth have introduced a fuel decontaminant called Diesel Cure. As we know, fuel systems gum up over time, which not only negatively affects the performance of diesel engines, but also the fuel consumption, exhaust emissions, and eventually maintenance and downtime. Often diesel operators aren't aware as to why this natural process of resin separation, also known as gumming or waxing, occurs. It occurs due to moisture or water contamination in diesel fuel. Moisture in fuel occurs primarily as a result of natural condensation in tanks, as well as contamination of bulk storage facilities and even water vapor entering tanks through breathers. The problem with water or moisture content is that not only is it corrosive and extremely abrasive on fuel system components, such as pumps and injectors, but it is also chemically active. This chemical reaction between moisture and sulfur causes acid to build up which leads to the gumming of pumps, injectors, and the entire fuel system. Due to the fact that a small amount of moisture content always exists in diesel fuel and is not easily removed, this gumming process is not only natural, but has also proven to be unavoidable to date. In this demonstration, we'll show how Worth Diesel Cure not only completely prevents the gumming process from occurring and maintains fuel quality in optimum condition, but also how Diesel Cure completely dissolves gum, resin or dirt deposits and cleans fuel systems where contamination already exists. Lastly, we will demonstrate how Diesel Cure deals with water content in diesel fuel, allowing it to pass safely through the fuel system without causing damage to pumps and injectors, protecting equipment from the harmful effects of water or moisture contamination. As you can see, we have two samples of low sulfur diesel. In order to recreate and speed up the natural gumming process which occurs in fuel tanks and fuel systems over time and which is responsible for the degradation of the fuel itself, we'll add a few drops of sulfuric acid to both samples. Before adding the sulfuric acid to each sample, however, we'll treat one sample with diesel cure. A 330 ml tin of diesel cure like this one will treat up to 400 liters of diesel fuel, making it very cost effective. As we add the acid to both samples, Bear in mind that one would not normally add sulfuric acid to diesel fuel, however, acid does occur naturally in fuel and as a result of moisture content. We are simply adding sulfuric acid to these samples in order to speed up the natural gumming process for demonstration purposes. As I begin agitating these two samples, one can see almost immediately that the untreated sample begins to darken, discolor and deteriorate. As I continue, the untreated sample will darken further while gum and sludge will start to coat the inside surface of the test tube, replicating the process which occurs naturally over time in fuel, fuel tanks and throughout the fuel system. This coating of gum and sludge has a direct and negative impact on atomization, combustion, fuel consumption and harmful environmental emissions produced. Also, these visible sludge deposits are capable of blocking fuel filters which can lead to costly operational downtime. Note that the sample that was treated with diesel cure has remained completely unaffected by the acid and has retained its natural color, demonstrating how diesel cure prevents acid buildup and completely neutralizes existing acid and moisture, maintaining optimum fuel quality and fuel system cleanliness. In order to demonstrate the effectiveness of diesel cure where this contamination already exists, we will now treat our contaminated sample, which, as you can see, has deteriorated quite dramatically. As I agitate the test tube, it's easy to see how almost immediately the resin, gum and sludge deposits begin to dissolve back into the fuel, restoring the fuel to its natural color and optimum condition. By using Diesel Cure, the same preventative and cleaning processes are replicated in your equipment's fuel tanks and fuel systems. Fuel companies the world over tell us that clean fuel passing through a clean fuel system is far more efficient, reducing fuel consumption, harmful environmental emissions, maintenance costs and downtime, while increasing the life of engines and fuel system components.
As we've already discussed, water contamination occurs by a number of means, but most often as a result of condensation, either in bulk fuel storage tanks or in vehicle fuel tanks. It also exists in two forms, the first being free water, which typically settles at the bottom of tanks and which is easily dealt with by means of water traps, filters or separators fitted to all diesel equipment. Water content, which is the other form of water contamination in diesel fuel, exists in suspension in all diesel fuel in varying quantities. It is therefore far more difficult to deal with as it bypasses traps, filters and separators and can normally only be removed by disposing of the fuel itself, which is very costly. We have already discussed and demonstrated how moisture is chemically active and the cause of acid buildup in fuel. However, over and above that, water content is also extremely corrosive and also abrasive. In fact, certain industries use high-pressure water cutters to safely and efficiently cut through steel, highlighting the abrasive properties of water. By applying this principle to a fuel injection system, it is easy to imagine the detrimental wear and tear effect that moisture or water content has on modern pump and injection systems. Given that all fuel has a certain amount of moisture content which cannot be physically removed other than by disposing of the fuel itself and which continuously passes through the fuel system causing wear and tear, the safest and most efficient way of dealing with the problem of moisture content in fuel in order to prevent costly repairs, maintenance and downtime is to treat that moisture content so as to convert it from a fluid which is corrosive and extremely abrasive into a fluid which is more compatible with engine equipment and fuel system components, allowing it to pass safely through the fuel system without causing corrosion or other damage to fuel system components. In order for this to occur, moisture needs to be converted from a harmful liquid responsible for wear and tear fuel system components into a fluid which, like diesel fuel, both lubricates and combusts. These are the two primary functions of diesel fuel. Therefore, it would be ideal if the moisture content in diesel fuel could be converted into a fluid which also has the ability to lubricate and combust, passing through the fuel system without damaging equipment. For this presentation, I'll be using free water to demonstrate how diesel cure deals with moisture content in fuel. Many products on the market claim to deal with acidic condensation or moisture content. This claim, however, can easily be tested by simply adding a sample of these products to free water, as we are doing here. The result will be a clear separation between the product and the water, proving that more often than not, these products have little beneficial effect, if any at all, on water or moisture content. In fact, agitating this product water mixture will often result in the fluid turning a milky white in color before eventually separating out again, proving that these products also tend to contain degreases or emulsifiers, which one certainly wouldn't want to add it to one's diesel fuel. Following the same process using diesel cure, we can see from this demonstration that when diesel cure is added to water, there is no separation at all between the two fluids. Treating the water with diesel cure has resulted in the formation of a new fluid. By dipping one's finger into this fluid, one can feel that it feels oily and therefore has now taken on lubricating properties. By dipping this paper into the fluid and lighting it, we see that this new fluid is also combustible, demonstrating that diesel cure converts moisture content in diesel fuel into a fluid which, like diesel fuel, both lubricates and combusts, removing the negative effects of water on fuel and equipment, providing all-round protection against poor fuel quality. As we have seen from these demonstrations, diesel cure is a preventative maintenance product used to protect vehicles and equipment against poor fuel quality and moisture contamination in diesel fuel. In order to provide total protection, this product should ideally be used to treat all fuel consumed. However, we do understand that logistically, this is not always possible. Any preventative maintenance, however, is better than none at all. Therefore, our customers will always derive some benefit from treating on-vehicle fuel tanks as often as is logistically possible, even if only at service intervals by making diesel cure part of every service kit. 
Last, but certainly not least, Worth Diesel Cure has been tested against global diesel fuel specifications. In all cases, diesel samples treated with diesel cure were found to comply with diesel specifications, providing a guarantee of safety when using this product, as well as an assurance that vehicle and equipment warranties cannot be invalidated as a result of using this product.